Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with your Sherlock, of course, Des Garinder. And today we're going up against the D Train. And uh, this guy is actually the Lithio Champion as of right now, which is awesome and a very, very worthy player to be a title of that because he's a generally good player and is actually an upcoming Pokétuber. So I'm gonna link his channel down below and I encourage you guys to check him out. He's much more aggressive than I am and has much he has another type of um, thought process which makes for very very entertaining battles and uh, yeah, I'll enjoy his content as much as anyone so check this guy out. And uh, we wanted to have an Aria match and I had quite trouble to set that up because we had uh, 7 hours between one, one another and we both are working and whatnot. so it has been somewhat hard to set up but we finally did it on my stream and it was an awesome match really. My opponent has really brought a very, very defensive team with Jillison, Runiclis, Weezing, Tarantrum, Kvalion, um, and Cradley. So very, very chunky, and um, it really, really can take hits and can deal with a lot of things. I myself is using Excadrill, no, Excavaltier, Hitmonsap, Glalie, Neuvern, Melwetza, and Rhyperior. So money is definitely much more intuitive with the offensive pressure but not enough pressure to tend walls and I kind of realized that going in that I need to play aggressive but at the same time I can't risk to too much because I'll lose Pokemon while doing so so yeah with all this my guys let's go so well at the start here really I knew I needed to kind of or rather I knew that he was going to set up rocks so he's going to set up Cradley I pretty did something like that to be honest so I'm gonna start with Durandal and basically force him out with a potential Mega Horn. And I'm actually just gonna go for knockoff because, well, it, it was no reason for him to really stay in there. And uh, yeah, knockoff does not do a whole lot. And uh, I didn't really want to risk potential Will O Wisp or Flamethrower, so I decided to switch out to Mysterio, which is actually sent to me by the Rizzle Man, I don't know, it's Thomas. And it's a Power Herb Solar Beam set. I really like that set. I really like Solar Beam being boosted by Power Herb. I think it's awesome. So we're just gonna send up Koro here back on, and I went from Air Slash, and that is one hell of a specially defensive Cradley. And this thing is gonna be tough to deal with. I'm not gonna lie. So I took the chance to kind of switch in my Ash Guard, which is worth it lately, to kind of you know coming in before the rocks basically, and um, Mega Evolve and do some damage. And I really felt that I was no position of real level predict. I was really hoping it would stay in. Of course, I had a Gobellion, you know, to resist the ice moves, so you should definitely go for EQ. But that didn't slip my mind, sadly. So while I do Mega Evolve here and go for the powerful Double Edge, it will not do a whole lot to a Gobellion, which of course resists the hell out of that. And uh, yeah, that's like a forward KO baby at best. And I'm not going to stay in taking an Head because Gobellion naturally outspeed, actually. So I go into Form Grave, getting Intimidation going, so at least, you know, get whittled down to some extent. And while it does it here with Iron Head, which is resisted, he still does a good chunk, so that tells me that he is, um, he's definitely invested in attack. He's gonna go for the Pringles, I went for neutral move, or rather, I went for EQ. Or, instead of close combat, gets that's kinda risky. And I didn't want to predict him here to attack me, I was sure I was gonna go for Willow, so I went for the Mysterion again. And um, I'm gonna frisk a choice cup, and I was like, oh hell, I should have just, oh no. <laughs> so, of course, it's gonna switch out. And the one thing that walls my Noiver really well is the Great Lee. It's really standing tall here. I was hoping it was gonna stay in with the Yelly Scent and do some last effort damage. So, I was really hoping to take it out with the Power Herb Solar Beam. I mean, that is not what has come to fruition, sadly. And Great Lee is definitely eating that one up. Oh, I hate you, Great Lee, so much. It's just, it's swallowing me. And not even a little eater, it's like, it's like definitely like to stand down to me. And uh, I went for Draco just to really hope I could dent him. Of course, I'm gonna go for recover. There is really no way of him to actually play that thing differently. He can stall me out, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. And it's up to me to actually make the right call now. And the call is get out of there and go back to Ashgard. I know that uh, the Stellar Frost isn't bound this time around, but at least I can force him out. And I did not predict the Asian power. I didn't. And yeah, that's that's not good. That is not good at all. Because usually these things has Giga Rain and Earth Power as a coverage if you want the um, special in. 
But that did not happen, and I went for an EQ instead. I knew it was going to switch out. I was hoping for the Cabalion. I needed the Cabalion, so since I know that thing is Scarf now, I'm going to get out. I, I shot is not enough to take out the Jellison, sadly. And uh, I'm going to go to Durandal, which of course resists the hell out of the... Uh, well, or rather, it's, it's Assault Vestige. It works really well. It's piss-ass slow, but who the hell cares if you've got to take the damage. So they predicted to switch out here to the smugglers, so decided, or to anything really, so decided to pull a double switch to foreign grip. And basically, I was in a mood where I just, I need to get the stealth rocks out of the way, because I had a stealth rock up, then Glalie can come back in. So I'm gonna spin that, and I actually have Sucker Punch on this, so I had it switched out to his Jelly Synth, I would have used that to my, to my advantage. And since the Black Sludge is gone from my, this Pokemon, my Rapid Spin actually does some damage to it. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but if we go so far and say it's kind of bad. But I at least are walling him, and now the Hazard is gone, and I was really hoping that he would switch out. Uh, mostly because of, um, well, he doesn't do any damage to me, I don't do any damage to him. So it's like, it would be an equal way to exchange each other's Pokemons, but that is not what happens. And I decided to go for Draco, of course, yet again, really. And uh, no, Cradley basically just say nope, you know, that's not gonna work, we've been over this, he's all about shaking his head there and say no, no, no. So I knew the stealth was coming, or rather I was back on that to happen, so we're gonna go to Foreign Grip here, and basically take those rocks away, and I was really hoping I could kind of force him out too with a close combat, and he actually goes to Gidrain, and I did not see that happening. I did not, but hell, alright, alright, you know, I'm fine with that, uh, could probably, we could probably do something about that, so I'm just gonna go for close combat, hoping that he stays in, but, of course, you know, that's just my wishful thinking, really, of course he's gonna leave that, I'm gonna go to Sergeant Smoker yet again, and I'm basically gonna do damage on it, I mean, damn, Weezing, it's, <laughs> you're just so <laughs> tough to deal with, and of course, with Toxic and whatnot, I decided to, before I fall, you know, to do a last rapid spin, so his Spikes becomes poison and not badly poison. That is the most important part because I knew it's gonna keep going for those spikes. Ooh, wheezing, you're perfect wall. I hate you so much. Damn. Stop being so chunky. So anyway, I decided to go bring him Alweta and basically try to take him out here. And I knew Cradle was gonna come in. I knew that was a possibility. I looked go so far and say I knew that your jealous was an option. So I decided to go for a charge beam. I know it sounds strange, but at the same time, it's my one way of really building myself up. Because I hit a charge beam, and Stringer is going to kick in my special attack. But um, yeah, I have a decision to make. I either try to take it out, or I will switch out to my Glalie. So these guys have met each other for quite some time now. And now the rocks is going to come up, and they are here to stay this time around due to my spinner being gone. And um, the poison, I was a bit unsure whether or not I will live, you know, the poison damage on a switch in. And, um, yeah. 1 HP! Yes! <laughs> so maybe not the safest way, but hell, it still did work. And he had probably predicted me to go for an earthquake. I just decided to do the last effort damage, go for double edge, take myself out, and then get a safe switch into anything else. And um, it worked this time. So the wasting is gone, so I can't be badly poisoned on a switch in, which is important. And now I'm actually going to speed down a bit. For you guys who have been watching now, you probably haven't even seen that, but I had actually sped things up in the beginning. So the last, or this matchup that comes now is the Pringles against the amazing Escavolier. And um, he's just going to go to his Megatron, which of course is a Tarantrum. This, this beast though, this beast, he's going to take a drill run. I decided to go for neutral damage really, I was hoping for Cabalion to be honest. Should probably went for an Iron Head, but it was too risky, and I couldn't switch out from this position because I knew Head Smash was coming, and uh, I just have to accept that defeat. So Desul Troya has gonna enter the fray. It's been long wait in the back, and um, I have the Choice Bandit set you guys know, but I actually have a set with leftovers, which is with a uh, Rock Polish, and uh, which set do I have this time? I have the rock polish set, so we're gonna polish ourselves up, getting double the speed, being able to outspeed everything in his team, even his Scarfer, and after that, we are gonna take out the Megatron, which is an awesome name for a Trantrum. <laughs> so, it should probably be called Grindlock, right? Like the dinosaur transformer. Yeah, I have, I, I actually have, I have my eyes on Transformers. Love the 80s show. 
Never mind, the Tarantrum's gonna fall, and um, from this point on, I was a bit unsure whether or not I can deal with Reuniclus or the Great Lee, but I have the Mega Horn, and I'm gonna rely heavily on the Mega Horn, so it's gonna bring the Great Lee back on, and um, you know, Gigaray will take me out, and I just can go for Mega Horn, I do land it, and the Great Lee is gonna fall, man, this beast is finally down, away with those dildos, perv. I hate that Pokemon. I love using it, hate going up against it. So he's gonna send in his Cradley and uh, his, well, not his Cradley, his Reuniclus. And Reuniclus does pack the Focus Blast here, which I was really scared of. But I do land on Mega Horn and it is not enough. And he's gonna retaliate with the Focus Blast. And I was like, no! This was supposed to be a sweep! I thought I had him! You know, he I, he'd been walling me so badly this whole game. I finally broke through to get two of his Pokemon, and we are back on square one. Damn. So I needed to bring Meloetta, I needed to bring something fast, really, so he can't recover back. That was like the main idea here. So I decided to go for Shadow Ball, because of course, he, with the stab, it's going to do enough. Had I decided to switch out, I would have taken out the Jellies in two. Uh, I won't risk going for a Hyper Voice at this point. So yeah, that is the Reuniclus out of the way, so his last Pokemon is the Kuvalion and the Yellicent. And uh, Yellicent is basically here to say hi, I mean say what's up, and you know, exchange Hydro Pump. I'm a Salt Vested Meloetta, so I actually eat that up quite well, and gonna retaliate with Shadow Ball. And um, yeah, m actually my last Pokemon are not even as good either, my last Pokemon are this Meloetta and the... Um, the, ooh, the Neuburn. I was so scared of this um, Kubalion being scarfed because if he's scarfed now, then he has won. Uh, it's Sally is how it's gonna end. And he's gonna go for an Iron Head, and Milouette, of course, is not gonna take that. No way. And uh, Mysterion, the Rizzleman's uh, Neuburn, is gonna enter the green lean machine. And he's gonna frisk the item, and we're gonna frisk a Lumberry. Which means that we'll outspeed, which also means that this flamethrower is enough to take out the Kabalion, and that is GG. And for anybody who wondered how I sounded with this victory came, I am actually gonna share with you the, <laughs> the tremendous life feed of that, so stay tuned, guys. No matter what. Please? Yes! Got him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that was a great game, D-Train. Definitely an awesome match, man. I won't deny it. You are a very, very good battler, and this was awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> From the bottom heart, man. That was great. So, game. yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. But, yeah, I was really excited about that victory, because I... I, I, you know, through that battle, I felt that I couldn't do anything. Like, he has a, such a solid core, and I couldn't break through. Like, he could stall me out in every position, and uh, there was no end to that situation. It just, it wasn't. And while I, I do come through eventually, and that was... <laughs> I don't think that was that fair. Uh, right here, we're landing the Mega Horn on both Reuniclus and Grey Lee. Actually... My opponent losing the Cradle Lee might be actually the thing that makes the game for him, because, or for me. Because Cradle Lee going down is basically... It's like a shot in the dark when it comes to that the Neuvern could outspeed the most thing and of course take it out. Um, my Melweta did nothing in this battle. My Hitmontop did barely enough in this battle. My Glalie... <laughs> brah! <laughs> it was just gonna go down. It was... Yeah! I mean, we did ship damage half the battle, and then once the battle really hit off, my f Pokemon was just falling like a freaking card house. So, Desert Troya definitely came through here, and that was great. Um, like I said, guys, before also, make sure to check this guy out, because he's a very, very capable battler, and um, I'll do, I enjoy his content a lot, so check him out, I'm going to leave the link down below. And for everybody else, remember, the sky is... The limit, as is it with Desotroya. So until then, have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.